this every time I start doing it. What's up, Cube? Hi, Rainbow. Hi, Cassis. Hi, Jay. Hi, Emery and Brooklyn Music. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Santa Cat. Stop hoping. Ah, oh, here y'all are. Hi, Sam. Hi, Dean. Ah, oh, what's up, Sai? Ah, oh, Sai, I have to get back to you. Holy shit, I've been so busy, I haven't been able to. Hey, Connor. What's up, Jazzy? I was wondering if anybody would show up. It's been like two months. I was like, everybody's probably forgotten. <laughs> it is fine if you have. You're like, I've forgotten about me. Hi, hi, everybody. Hey, Haley. What's up, Washing Bear in the pretty white coat? Minister Orange! I saw... Minister Orange, did I see you on the Kumite? And were you kicking ass? I think so. Right? And I think I enjoyed it. And this was recently. Good on you. Thank you, Hill, for the 400. Thank you, thank you. Hi, everybody. Hi, my soul universe. Oh, Brooklyn, I missed you guys too. Connor, thank you for the 100. Ocean, thank you for the 500. Or the 50. Sorry. <laughs> Santa Cat, thank you for the 50 bars. There's the 50. There it is. Yeah, Minister. I was like, I was applauding. I was like, I know that motherfucker. <laughs> He's been nice to me. Hi, May. Hello, hello, everybody. I missed you guys too. Hi, little Rosie. <laughs> Hi, hi. Hi, Anonymous. Thank you for the 400. Thank you, thank you. What's up, Dadly? Liz! Liz, I saw your Valentine's Day thing on Twitter, and I was like, I miss Liz. Thank you, CJ, for my little applause. Thank you for the tens. Jazz, Rainbow, Reaper, Elsa. <laughs> it's hard to pronounce. Elsa. Um, oh, you guys are so nice. There's Claire Bear. Claire Bear. Hi, Isaac. Isaac, I've been seeing your tweets. You know, it's crazy. Ah, oh, Lisa Looney Tune, thank you. I really didn't know if anybody was going to come. Because I haven't been on, and I, like, okay, so here's the thing. I'll get to it in a second. Dean, I'm seeing all, I'm seeing all you guys, and I love hanging out with you guys. I miss you guys. Stepsky, hi, girly. She says, oh, my fucking God, I missed you. Tea time, yes, girl. Oh, Chris is here, sexy bearded Viking, hi. And Jeb, thank you for the 400. You guys are so good to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, shit, my hair looks good. Well, thank you. This is, today I didn't wash it. Lady something, you gave me bars. Damn it, and it came too quickly. That's what she said. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Chris! Chris, I'm doing a patron stream tonight. You have to come if you're free. It's going to be in four hours. Four. Ah. Uh, Christy, thank you for the 50. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, JD? Hello, hello. Fred Pickles! <laughs> I've had really good vegan Fred Pickles once. I've never had good Fred Pickles except for when they were vegan. Not that I'm saying, like, ooh, it tastes better because it's vegan. It's just what I prefer because you needed to know that information. I was, was that's important information, and I'm an important person. And that's it. Did you like all that stuttering I did in the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> hi. Hello, hello. Hi, Diamond. There's Bear. What's up, Miss Bear? Hello. I'm just going to do a few minutes to say hi to everybody. I'll give a couple more minutes because I know it's been a while. Ah. Thank you, Cubed Canadian. <laughs> Cubed Canadian. What the hell is a vegan pickle? No, vegan fried pickles. They're really good. Really, really good. The woman has starch marks on her stomach. Does that mean she has been bargained before I, it can i'm not a doctor but it can my soul universe thank you for the 50 god you guys are so nice hi anti what's up sweetheart i know it has been a while it's really been a while hi shadow hello hello ah immersion i missed you too i missed you guys it's been like it's been too long it's been way too long so i'll give you guys some updates hi rose jessica thank you for the hundred deadly sins thank you for the bow hunted the hunted Okay, so, uh, 203, oh my god, I'm number four trending, 243 people, I really thought, like, nobody gave a shit, and that's fun, and it's not like I'm, like, sitting around going, nobody gives a shit about me, I just kind of was like, well, I'm gonna come on, I don't know if anybody is gonna be interested, Angel, what's up, Angel, thank you for the thousand, bitch, keep your money, thank you, girl, Hail, thank you for the 800, thank you, thank you, hey, Miss Feisty Redhead, Angel, does 2,000 bars, fuck you, Angel, thank you, girl, Basically, the more you donate, which you don't have to, I'm always like, you. everybody's always more than welcome to hang. Regardless, Angel, thank you again. The more you donate, the more I'm probably going to curse at you and tell you to get the fuck out. Hail, thank you for the 400. Desiree, thank you for the 400. God damn it. Y'all, quit being nice to me. <laughs> Shay, thank you for the 400. All people are important. You're important. Oh, thank you, Katie. I like how you spell your name. It's a pretty spelling. Isaac, thank you for the 100. Desiree, thank you for the 400. Desiree, thank you for the 1,200. Shit. Shit, y'all. Tommy, I'm doing a patron stream. You have to come. It's like in four hours. You have to come. 
Desiree, thank you for the 1600. Desiree, thank you for the 2000, batch. Batch as. <laughs> Ante, thank you for the 100, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you. 223 people. What the fuck are y'all doing in here? <laughs> what are you doing? Stevsky, thank you for the 100 bars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all know my drill. Like the first, what, five, 10 minutes? I just say hi to everybody. I try to. Um, J Cupcake, thank you for the 50. Lisa says, spill the tea. Okay, we'll get there. We're going to get there. It's Liz Lemon. Thank you for the 50. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Marissa, thank you for the 400. This was the first stream I've ever caught. Oh, well, welcome. Procrastination station. I think I got it right. Hale, thank you for the 400. This might be interesting, and it might not make sense that this is the first one, but you're welcome. Always welcome. Rachel, thank you for the 50. Danielle, thank you for the 50. Oh, gosh, you guys, there's 232 people, and I'm number three trending. God damn it. I'm number three trending on this site. How do I do this? How do I take a break? And I'm like, I don't know if anybody's going to be here. And I come on, and you guys are so good to me. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Like, I want to cry. I know people go, oh, she's fig. No, I really do. Like, I'm really grateful. I really came on going. I don't know. Hey, Jay, thank you. Thank you for the 50. And Deadly, thank you for the 400, honey. Like, I really don't know. Um, I never, like, I really came on going, I don't know if, like, maybe I'll get, like, 50 people. And, I'm, and I'd be grateful, right? Because, like, who the fuck am I? I'm not on YouTube anymore. I'm not doing anything anymore, internet-wise, really. You know, I, I've shut down my my Twitter several times, so I totally, totally understand, um, you know, people didn't want to come, and here there's, like, 240 of you. Hi, Celeste. It's because you were very mis mis missable. I thought you said miserable. Yes, I'm miserable. <laughs> Thank you, Celeste. You know what's funny? Is that like I've heard people say when they first catch my streams, like in the beginning when I'm trying to talk to y'all, and thank you for the Julie for the 50, they'll go, think she's on drugs or ADHD. Look how quick she talks. And look where she just changed the subject all the time. Thank you, Julie, thank you. Thank you, thank you. For the fucking 200 Canadian, thank you. Well, the thing is, what they don't see from my end is this chat of 240 people all talking. Tommy, thank you for the 50. And me trying to shout out the people who are giving me things because they're very nice and they don't have to, not entitled to anything. Um, and, and, and on top of that, just trying to talk about whatever. So there's like three things happening and and two of them are constantly changing. To So I'm sure, to like everybody else, it probably looks a little crazy, but I'm trying to keep up with several things. Hi, Russia Bunny. And Laura, hi, Laura, the Tandy, Vantadini. See, and it, sometimes it goes too quick and I can't, I can't read people's pronunciations correctly. Can't read their names to pronunciate. Pronounce, pronounce, that's the word. Mona, thank you for the 50. Thank you, thank you. Sigh, become an auctioneer, Joy. I should, I love that. Have you guys seen those videos of the auctioneers and they put like rap beats behind it? I love that. I really do. I wonder if we could make that into like rap. Like do have, like have them do the auctioneer thing, but like in poetic form. I think I know my comeback to YouTube, my secret comeback to YouTube. I just revealed it. <laughs> okay, so let us begin. Holy shit. If you hear clicking, Dadly, thank you for the 400. Roommate is right over here. Cute little nugget. I don't know if you can see her. There's Miss May. Macy. Hi, Macy May. Can you say hi? You want to say hi to everybody? Hi. Miss little Miss Girl. Miss little Miss Girl. She's so cute. She's so cute. So, okay. I know people always ask, so, <coughs> there we go. If my body will let me speak. Okay, body and phlegm. Go to the right places. <laughs> Don't interchange in the wrong tubes. So sounds stupid. I'll sound stupid many other ways. Um, okay. <laughs> I know it's like, right? Okay, so what has been happening? Holy shit. Well, I took a really big break, right? Um, and here's the thing is like, and I hope this doesn't sound rude or disappointing because I don't mean for it to. I'm not necessarily looking to do a big comeback right now. And the reason, the big, well, there are two reasons. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to come back. I, I don't know. I, I've really kind of been saying I don't think I will. Haley, thank you for the 400, or the 100, sorry, the 100. Um, and, I, and I want you guys to know is like I, when I'm happy to come on here every so often and update people, I really am because I really do appreciate all of you. And I'm number two trending. Thank you guys so much. Holy shit. At like what, 5.30 on a Wednesday. Thank you. That's so nice. That's, God damn it. <laughs> like my obese ass who doesn't do anything is number two trend. I don't understand. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. You guys are so nice. 260 people in here. Jesus. Okay. So what's been going on? Where have I been? So if you guys had followed me on YouTube when I was Joy Sparkle BS on YouTube, as you know, my channel's gone. Um, I talked a lot about, what the fuck is this? Oh, fuck that. 
Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Stud puffin, shove it up your ass. Shove it up your ass. Somebody kick stud puffin out. She just gave me 18,000 likes. And some fucking bird assaulted me with arrows. <laughs> Fuck. Stud puffin. Thank you. God damn it. God damn it. Thank you, girl. And you guys know my policy. As long as you're not a fucking asshole and you ever, like, you donate something and you really need it back and it's a sizable amount that we can calculate, I'm always happy to help. <laughs> so thank you, girl. Much, much, much appreciated. Okay, so what's been going on? Sorry, I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. What? What is that? 15 minutes later? <clears throat> so on my channel, I talked a lot about my health. And I've talked a lot about, um, I'm actually getting a little emotional about this. What's going on with me? Um, I've talked a lot about the journeys that I've been through uh, over the last four years with stuff going on. And there's still fucking tens. Thank you for all the tens, guys. I'm not seeing. And there's still stuff that's going on. Um, I think the last time I left off actually explaining anything to you guys about what's going on. Hey, I'll thank you for the 400. Not that it's anybody's business. Because I've gotten to know everybody and I've opened up more about this. I know that's one of the first things people ask is, how are you? How's your health? Which is so nice. It's so fucking nice of you guys. So I'll give you guys a quick update. So... Um, I got really sad because, um, Stud Puffin, god damn it, Stud Puffin, thank you for the thousand, girl, take a break, thank you, but take a break, I appreciate it. So, I went to my doctor, I think I told you guys, we went to the, um, GI, and they diagnosed me with post-infectious IBS. He basically said, the doctor said, okay, so, what he thinks has happened is that when I went overseas, it's really common when you travel overseas to get, uh, a stomach, like, to get a stomach bug of some sort, or some sort of infection. For most people, it clears up, but because at the time I was heavy metal toxic and didn't realize it, my immune system was suppressed. So anything I had would hit me really hard. So he basically said, what's happened is you've probably had a stomach infection for a while and your body finally, it's either cleared it up or there are small remnants left and it will kick up. And that, like if you have a digestive problem long enough, it can give you a form of IBS. Like if you have a bad stomach infection, even when you get rid of it, you can have IBS. They call it post-infectious IBS. So that's what I first had. Um, and that's what I have been dealing with. My stomach is is about 90% better. Thank fucking God. 90% better. I, of the last month, have been, I've now for about a month been off the prednisone, which I'm really happy about. And I'll give you guys an update. So I was really excited, but I was still having a lot of, like, I got my stomach cleared up, but the fibro got worse. And I was like, well, that doesn't make sense, right? Like, what the fuck? So I went to my doctor, and I was like, so... You worked miracles for me last time. Um, what do I do about this? <laughs> like, can you help? And, uh, you know, about the fibro, my doc said, I'm out of options. And I was like, oh, goddamn. What do we do? So my doc said, you know, she said, as much as we don't think your heavy metals are an issue yet, like they're still an issue, let's go ahead and not just test copper. Let's, Because we know that you've had issues with copper, and you haven't been retested in a while. So let's go ahead and retest, but we'll test everything. And I'm like, okay. So we go and we test for stuff. You ready for this? <laughs> I was floored. Turns out I have copper toxicity, high aluminum toxicity, and slight mercury toxicity. What in the fuck? So all this time I've been trying to get rid of copper, there have been other issues. So my doc's like, okay, she said, I'm going to recommend you to a specialist to help you with this, right? But the specialist getting the appointment was going to take a while. So of course, me being the, uh, the person that I am, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try to research on my own. I'm going to come up with my own hippy dippy thing. By the way, I'm not telling anybody what to do. Don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> like I've done what I've done because I've made myself a human experiment. Do not fucking try these things at home, please. I'm not giving medical advice to anybody. I'm telling you what I've done. And what I did was not very smart. <laughs> so I got frustrated. I researched and I was like, what I found was something that removes heavy metals <clears throat> fairly well Hi, Blarg! Blarg! What's up, Blarg? Um, something that removes them very well is uh, algaes, the uh, spirulina and chlorella. And then uh, stuff like silica, which would be bamboo. And there's a few other things like garlic and turmeric um, and ginger, which I used to take a lot of those before. So I was like, okay. I was like, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to try this. So I take the pills the first day. Nothing. I was fine. Take them the second day, and I double the dose. Nothing. On the third day, actually, the patron stream. I don't know if some of y'all remember this. I was like, because the thing is, like, the bottle will say, like, you can take up to, like, four, what, four spirulina and eight chlorella. So I ended up taking, like, four of one and six of the other. And I thought, I can handle this. Oh, my God. 
No, I couldn't. I was on the patron stream and the heart stuff started. I'm like, what's going on? And I started feeling really sick. And I, I stuck it out. I told patrons, I'm like, I'm going to do my best. And it hit me while I started the stream. I'm like, what's going on? So what ended up happening was um, I later that night, it got really trippy. <laughs> um, I don't know how to explain this, but it felt like this whoosh from my brain to my stomach. And I felt very weird. And I'm like, what's going on? And then I ran to the bathroom and I was in the bathroom all night getting sick to the point where roommate had to take off work the next day. Cause I mean, I was, I couldn't keep fluids in me. I was like, what in the fuck? And right before this happened, all those horrible symptoms flared up really, really bad. I was like, what is going on? What the fuck? So here's what happened. What happened is, um, and I found out now this stuff doesn't just remove heavy metals. It removes everything. So it wiped me out. I was weak for two weeks and it took three days to get my stomach under control. Basically what happened was I taxed my body too much. I got rid of too much too quick. So I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. So when I, when I got the meeting with the heavy, heavy metal specialist, we talked about it and she laughed and she's like, Oh my God, don't do that again. I said, why? And then she explained it all to me. And so the program that I'm on right now, we talked about chelation therapy because people have asked me about this. The problem, thank you, love, loves piglet. Hi, thank you for the hundred. The problem with that is that doing it that way. Um, hold on. Where am I going with this? This isn't brain fog. This is just me trying to remember what I was talking about. Um, the brain fog is a lot better. So we talked about chelation therapy because people have asked me about that. It can backfire and it can be really concerning for the wrong person. I'm already been really sick and I've already, I just gotten over. And with, oh, by the way, the post-infectious IBS, they gave me 10 days of antibiotics. And after that, I felt fucking fantastic. They're like, this is to clean up any possible thing that was there. Well, we had just gotten rid of that. You know, there were so many, and, and I've still been really sick to where it can be kind of dangerous to the wrong person. And I had already just went through the, the algae situation, right? So I, we talked about it and I said, you know, what should we do? And so she said, you know, I think we should get you on a program that's going to help. It's a supplement program that will help build up, um, like it's it, like part of what happens with this stuff is you get a lot of deficiencies and things. It's going to build up any deficiencies that are in your body and, and get this stuff out in a safe way. So I've been doing that since January. Um, no, since December, middle of December. So I've been on it two months. I feel so, thank you, Jennifer, for the hundred. I feel so much better. I feel so much fucking better. Oh my God. Um, the only shitty side effect is that, um, I'm still having a lot of weight issues. As you can see, my face is rounder <laughs> and, and it sucks. I think I'm 15 pounds away right now. This is not a joke from being morbidly obese. It's not a joke. And I know you probably think, oh, you don't see it here. Well, it's in my ass and my legs, but that is normal for somebody. It's called slow oxidation. That's what's basically my body has a hard time removing anything because it's so clogged. Um, and it's, it's a painful process. It is not easy, but, um, the results are really, really good to where even when I have the bad days, they're so much less bad. So I am really, really, really grateful. Um, <laughs> somebody asked prednisone. I said this early. If you didn't see it, the prednisone, oh, thank you, Tommy. The prednisone, um, no, I'm, I've been off of that for a month. Um, and uh, I had to taper off really slowly because the pain has gotten less and less to where I don't need it. So <laughs> even though mentally I still go through that, it's hard because I look at this and I'm like, holy shit, I've gained about 110 pounds in the last two years from all of this, from, from this process, right? But I have to keep telling myself a couple things. And one of the things I tell myself is I know how to lose weight. I know how to diet. Um, but I can't do anything until my body is ready. And I have to keep telling myself that. So <clears throat> this has been for me a very big, big lesson in compassion for you look slimmer in my face. Really? I don't think I do, but thank you. I mean, I'll take the compliment. Um, you know, it's a big lesson in compassion for myself. It really, really is. And that I am not my body. We are not our bodies. These bodies are fucking temporary, right? I mean, it's, it's fun to be healthy and to look healthy and for me to be able to like wear clothes. Cause that's part of my art. I feel like I love wearing clothes. Um, well, you know, clothes I enjoy right now. It's just a lot of these frumpy fucking sweatpants and stuff. Cause that's what fits. Um, and it's comfortable, but, uh, I'm excited because I know there will be a point of better. And when there's a point of better, I will be able to do the process of bringing my body back to a smaller place. 
And I am excited to see that I started out in a situation where I was told, okay, you've got fibromyalgia and you've probably got IBS and you're just never going to get over it. And I'm at this point now where things are getting fixed and I'm just, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. But, um, but I want you guys to know, this is why I've not been around. If you remember my videos, I said, once we figure out what's going on and we have a plan, I won't be around as much. So that's just, and I know, and I know I deleted my channel, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, I deleted it October 7th, I think, but I was still going to continue to go on, uh, you to, or you now, but that's why I've been gone. I've just really been trying to focus on my health. And so I'm sorry if anybody felt neglected, I'm really not trying to. And there's been a lot of other stuff. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about it. Um, so since I would say for almost the last year, I have gone on the internet. If you guys have followed me, a lot of you guys know this. I've gone through um, orchestrated, organized, systemic harassment. This is not a joke. This isn't just like the normal shit and this isn't trolls. Um, these are people who have routinely said, we want her off the internet and either in jail or dead. And they're not going to stop until they do it. Um, these are people that are scary. And these are people that have tried, that have reached out to anybody they can in my life. And they've tried to get roommate fired. They've doxxed every ounce about my life, anybody who's ever been in my life. Um, and even YouTubers who are just nice to me, they will dox or they will um, call their jobs. It's scary. <laughs> it's been very scary. And so that was, you know, a lot of people have been curious. And we've talked about it here, but they've been like, why did you leave YouTube? Well, that was why, because in my mind, I thought maybe this will stop it. And there's no amount of attention or like internet, what internet attention or whatever that is worth this. It's but like, now if we're getting paid a fuck ton of money, you know, like, cause you know, people were like, well, this is like celebrity, get over it. Well, I never considered myself a celebrity and celebrities make a fuck ton of money and have people to help them with this. You know, and of course I had people who helped me. I have my, my certain people that really stick by me, which I really appreciated. I've had Cy who's helped me a lot. Um, you know, in the past and some other people who I really, really appreciate, but I've been in this shitty position, um, where I thought that would stop the harassment. And unfortunately it hasn't stopped. And I've gotten to a place where I've had to stick up for myself. <clears throat> so I have a bit of an announcement. <laughs> I have been also quiet because I am protecting some of the people that are harassing me. And you might ask why. It's because, sorry, I don't want to get upset. When I said I care about Emia and Cody, I really do. They're not my kids, but I care about kids. And so even though, and I've talked about it a little bit, hardly, not like not much, just a little bit. Um, I wanted to try to wait until the next court date. And I, even then, like, I just don't want to say anything. I really didn't want to say anything, truth be told. The problem is, um, the problem is a lot of the harassment I've learned has come from the very person I've tried to protect and help. And this person and her father have not stopped. And the worst part is it's lies. Like, it's straight up slander. It's straight up slander. What do you do in my position? my I left YouTube. My income is gone. I'm, I'm still too sick to really work yet. I hope, I'm hoping in the next six months to a year I'll be there. What do you do when there's a person that you stuck your neck out for repeatedly and then they go and do interviews lying about you and you know it and you have the evidence to prove it, but there are two little kids involved. Well, some things came to light recently. Um, God, I hate, I hate this situation. Like I never want, I never wanted something like this. Uh, I've been talking to some people like Geek Thulu, who's been really kind to me. Um, and he has been really, he, and I've been talking to Tonka Saw. Remember, okay, you guys remember Tonka Saw and Failure? Do you guys remember how like with them, I was, um, I was really upset with them for some things. Well, Tonka actually was one of the few people that took the time, Tonka and Geek, to sit down and look at my evidence. They got very angry and they said, your issue was that you're too nice and you've fucking been played. You have been played. Holy shit. And they've been saying drop the evidence and I've been going back and forth. The other thing is, um, here's the thing. 
it's a bit scary to drop the evidence because this person lives in a two-party state. This is Rose. But Rose has had people put out my stuff. She's had people put out my fucking phone number. Knowingly. What do you do? What do you do in that situation? So I have decided to do this. <laughs> I've decided middle fingers in the air, it's coming out. Because I cannot continue to get slandered. They, I cannot continue to let people destroy my life. I can't. And the problem is, it's not going to stop. And then, uh, somebody contacted me. And we sat down. We compared notes. We both got very angry. And I went, this goes a lot deeper than what I thought. So, hold on one second. I'm getting some texts. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Yep, I got it. And I, I see your text. I thank you. I appreciate it. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I've just been in this place. Like, what do you do? Like, I don't, I don't want to do anything. Like, here's the thing. If I, I'm in this position where if I don't defend myself, people say I'm guilty. When I do defend myself, you're hurting this person or that person or children. Hi, cool again. Hi, sweetie. There's cool again. Hi, honey. It's been a while. I was thinking about you the other day. I was telling a, a friend about what happened online when I promoted you. I was like, it is so sweet. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and come clean with it. I'm releasing everything, everything. And I have a message because I'm sure she or one of her people or even Robert Hall are watching or they're going to hear this. If you try to do anything legal to me, I will turn around and counter sue you so fucking fast. Yeah. By the way, Robert Hall, do you not think, okay, so you guys want to hear, I'm going to do a quick funny story. And I don't want to say too much. Quick funny story. Um, so Robert Hall, <laughs> this is Rose Hall's father. This motherfucker, I have made one tweet to, one tweet in November. He has made about 200 tweets about me. And most of it's bullshit. And then, <laughs> so tomorrow at 11 a.m., I'm going on the Kumite, Tonkasa. Go to Tonkasa's channel. If you, like, go, 11 a.m. Going on the Kumite, I'm releasing everything. And he found out. So he starts, he starts apologizing. Apologizing to me on Twitter. About an hour later, turns around. And he's fighting with Geek Thulu as he's doing this. Turns around, deletes his apologies. Hail, thank you for the 400, thank you. Motherfucker deletes his apologies, right? Then he goes and starts saying, Bring it, Joy! And all this kind of stuff. <laughs> he had this one tweet. It was hilarious. He said something to Geek Thulu. Well, at least I serve my country. I'm a vet. I'm not let you just have a thumb up my ass. And I'm like, you fucking moron. Geek Thulu is also a vet. I just laugh now because it's just so fucking crazy. No, I it's gotten, I mean, it's a serious situation because it sparked some very scary harassment. But I get to a point, like, when you're past your threshold, I just laugh. It's like, that's how I deal with it. But it's, it's mother, God, he acts, they act, they act so, they act so, fun, act so. No, the reason I waited so long was because I thought I really would rather just drop it and let it go. And everybody moved their separate ways. They didn't want to. And you might be asking yourself, why did Rose lie? Because I've, I've asked myself this repeatedly. What? Why? Like, what was the fucking motive? And you know what I think it is? I can't tell you for certain because I'm not her. I think it's money related. I think it's money related. Because for some reason, the bitch just can't hold a job. And if people are offended I call her a bitch, I think she's a bitch. And I'm not going to apologize for that. I'm a nice person, but when I stand up for myself... I'm going to call it the way I feel it is. Rose admitted that she was just playing me the whole time. Rose has said that I screamed at her. She has said, made all kinds of claims. Come tomorrow at 11 a.m. will be the start. Oh, and that's not all. After that, we'll go on Irate Bear stream. Then I'm going to go on Sinatra stream and Geek Thulu stream. Um, who else? Oh, my nose is itching. Who else? 
Um, suit Yourself, which Suit Yourself is a little bit involved in this, <laughs> funny enough. Suit Yourself was one of the few people who saw the bullshit and did not sell me out. One of the very, very few people, and I'm very, very grateful. Um, <laughs> he wasn't outwardly real supportive, but it is because he didn't want to get too involved, and I don't fucking blame him. I told him, I was like, it's, it's smart. I told even Mike an actor. Mike's been saying, let me at him, because Mike knows what's going on. Benji James, like, that's the thing is there are certain people that are so big on defending me and people think I've like mind controlled them and it's no. You look at Tonka Saw and Failure. Failure doesn't like me that much. Tonka Saw didn't like me that much either. Vamp didn't like me either. And yet they saw my evidence and were like, I'm so sorry this happened to you. I wish we would have known. And you guys are really going to shit your pants when you hear the whole story and you will understand. As of a couple days ago, I was ready because we talked about going on the, the Kumite and I was ready to wait until after the court date. And I said, no, no, shit needs to come out now. And even though Tonka and I or Failure and I have had our issues in the past, they are two people and Vamp Candy, same with her. They are people who are willing to look at the evidence. They're willing to look at the evidence and, oh, and weigh the evidence. And you don't have to like me. But I'm going to prove that we've all been taken for a real big fucking ride. <laughs> so there you go. Am I, oh, somebody asked. Thank you, fatter version of you. <laughs> I like the name. My soul, thank you for the 400. Are you going on STFP Tommy? Let's talk about Tommy C for a second. God, I hate YouTube because there's so much drama. I've been so much happier being away. God damn. I know people say well, you were a drama channel. I tried to focus on things of, where people were really awful and things I could try to help. That's really what I tried to do. That's why I didn't do a lot of just videos about little dramas going on. Hail, thank you for the 400. Let's talk about Tommy C. I reached out to several people. Tommy twice has reached out to me wanting an interview. I declined each time and he's talked massive, massive shit on me, right? I went to Tommy and said, I'm ready to do an interview, even though he's been an ass to me. Ready to do an interview? If you want the real story? Let me know. Not only did this little pussy not respond to me, this little petty pussy, he sent it to Robert Hall. And you know what's funny? And I have this to prove it. Robert Hall was going to do an interview with Tommy, but I guess he ended up lying to Tommy and gave him a lot of incorrect information. And Tommy said, I'm out. So did Keemstar's people. <laughs> See, you want to hear something really funny? Here's a fun one. You ready for this? I'll give a, I'll, I'll drop a little, little nugget and I'm going to go here soon. I'll take some questions. Um, so with Tommy, um, Robert Hall couldn't get an interview with any, nobody wanted to touch him. So a guy who is known, he says he is, um, an anti-joy troll and has admitted to under the legal definition, stalking and harassing me. Did an interview with him instead. Can anybody guess who he interviewed with? Can anybody guess? Anybody? Oh, wait, I'm looking at the chat. Who do you think he interviewed with that's been a really big stalker and harasser? <laughs> I see the first one. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> you got it. You guys got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, somebody says Phil. Actually, uh, Phil fits into the story, too. Phil, though. Oh, my God, you guys probably don't know. Let's talk about that real quick. There's so much that's happened. Remember that motherfucker that I, and I felt so bad. This took me a while to get over because I introduced him here. Um, do you guys remember Phil, that Philip S guy on Twitter, the one that's my former friend that I gave a platform to and that he went and did a three hour video on how I used him because I tried to help him get jobs. Anybody remember this? Anybody remember this motherfucker? Oh, <laughs> he plays into this story too. But guess what we found out about little Phil? Well, Phil kept making a lot of thinly veiled threats to me. He and his people got Geek Thulu, he got strikes on his channel and got his Twitters terminated by bots. You ready for this? They have little, uh, the little fucking nerd groups to see how they could destroy my life. So we went on um, Tonka stream to talk about it. Phil, and by the way, this motherfucker who made fun of me for in the past being an, in, thinking I was an indigo child and all of that, this motherfucker thinks he's a wizard. And that's another one. I sat on it because I was like, he's a former friend. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to hurt him, but he wouldn't stop. And then he started with Geek, and Geek was like, fuck no. <laughs> so we went on the Kumite to talk about it. I read excerpts of our messages where Phil talks about it. I know I'm laughing, but this is really serious, that he's a super soldier, um, and that he's, 
because his dad was in the military and has clearances higher than the president and that his soul is only half human it's an anti <laughs> hold on i gotta keep composed because i know i'm laughing but this is a nervous laugh but it's also really silly stuff <clears throat> you're a wizard Philip. um he really believes he's a wizard uh go look at his he has a video nichi statum on youtube go look there's a one about like witches versus trump and he's critiquing their spells and how stupid they are the elements don't care about you <laughs> baby carrots <laughs> Hale, Hale knows the year that we're under. Yeah, he said, and this is all public stuff that Geek found, because Geek was like, do you mind sharing some info? And at first I was like, ah, I really wasn't sure, because I was just like, I don't want to hurt him, even though he wants to hurt me, because I'm not like that, and I don't like talking about former friends and people in my life. So Geek found this stuff. He talks about, he's a wit <laughs> he's a weather witch. He can, on his public Facebook, controls docking weather, um, casts universal spells. Oh, yeah, he... He fought Molech and Legion. And it, I think it was Molech's 27 incarnations. He in a group back in 2004. This is not a joke. On his you now. Go to his you now. Philip Schlicker. Go to his you now. There's a video with the girl called Panda something. Panda's really sweet. I fucking love her. I've interacted with her a lot. She's been really sweet to me. They did a video talking about metaphysical stuff. And that's where he talked about battling Legion. And a giantess walked into the room with a friend of his. <laughs> And I've been sitting on this because I don't want to hurt him. I'm not out to hurt anybody. I just hoped, you know, the rules of the internet, don't talk about it and it go away, didn't apply to me. And I didn't know that because we're dealing with systematic harassment and organized stalking, unfortunately. Like, and it took me a while to really accept that. I just couldn't figure out why this was happening. I found out why. I found out where it started from and I have the proof. I have it all. <laughs> I have everything. Um, but with Phil. So we go on the Kumite, right? Me and Geek and Tonka. Medicare was there and we're joking about Phil the fucking wizard. <laughs> and we're about to get off, right? So, and you guys can see this. You guys can see this. There's a Kumite of like two, three weeks ago with Joy Sparkle on us. So go look for that in Geek Lulu. So we go on there, right? And we're talking about it. And then Tonka's like, I'm going to end the stream. So me and Geek are still in the hangout talking. Tonka goes, hey, shut up, shut up, shut up. We're still live. And we're like, what, what happened? So Medicare's people dug and found something that, see, I'm not an internet sleuther, so I don't really know how to research the evils of people. And I have a couple, I have a few friends that have helped me with this, but we're not, this isn't what we do. Um, but we were looking for stuff as, as we were, as we were helping Geek Thulu and trying to come out with stuff. And we found a forum where he and his girlfriend at the time, um, it said that she was 15 and he was 21. Oh, it gets better. So we went looking, we went looking some more. <laughs> it gets worse than that. That was during the, the, the post that she made. When we looked, we did the math when she said they first started dating. She was 13 and he was 18. Sorry, 19. 13 and 19. So he is possibly, I want to say this, I can't say 100%. Because he claims they never had sex. But that means he's possibly a P word. <laughs> the P word. I'd rather be called a murderer than a P word. And that was really hard to process. Because not only has this guy... Hi, Coding! What's up? Not only has this guy been harassing and cyber-stalking and cyber-harassing me and trying to destroy my life, He's a fucking P-word. What do you do? Like, what do you do with that? <laughs> and I, this is somebody that I helped, like, almost every year of my life would get into some situation of being jobless and try to help him since I was good at getting jobs and had a lot of work. This is somebody that I gave money to, $405 right before he started harassing me to help him because he lost his job again. This is somebody that I was on and off friends with, I use the term loosely, for how, how fucking long? 10... 12 years online. So what do you do with that? What the fuck do you do? Um, so that was really hard to process. Really, really hard. And then Phil left Twitter and put up a suicide note. And he didn't, I say it in quotes, because he didn't commit suicide. He's just disappeared. There's been a lot. Hey, Caitlin. On oh, Nicka Baby, I miss your streams too. So there has been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. 
so yeah, <laughs> there's been a lot going on. Um, but I'm feeling good and I'm happy and I'm just looking forward to refocusing and getting better. I really am. I really am. Hold on one second. I'm like, my, my stuff is blowing up. Okay. There we go. Just a second. Okay. Ah, sorry. I'm sorry. Guys. Give me just one second. Okay, sorry, I'm here. <laughs> so, okay, I guess I'm going to take, because uh, I don't want to stay on too long. I've been here 40 minutes. I'm going to take any questions or anything. Hi, Renee. Oh, that's okay, Renee. Renee, I owe you an email. I know I do. Fuck. <sighs> Nikki, and I never mean for it to be. God damn, Nikki. Like, I know, Nikki's like, the drama's strong with this one, and I never fucking mean for it to be. It sucks. It really sucks. So, Anybody have any questions or anything like they want to go over? I've been number two trending almost this whole time. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Nick, I've missed you too. I've missed you guys. I miss everybody. I really have. You guys are so good to me. Thank you so much. So how's everybody been? Like what's everybody else been up to? Everybody good? Oh, fuck. It is. It is. Oh, uh, hey. I'm ah. echoing. I'm echoing. I'm so, echoing. if you guys don't know, um, I didn't realize this was gonna happen. This is, uh, Chambers of My Heart. So, um. It is. It is. Hi. <laughs> okay, why am I echoing? Why am I I'm echoing? echoing? I'm echoing. It's because I never wear headphones. Hold on. I, uh, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't expecting you. Hold on. So, uh, anything we'll talk about? Uh, oh, you haven't told him yet or whatnot? Oh, I've been God. sitting here. Oh, I heard you mention oh. the Kumite, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you, as you know, I'm going on the Kumite tomorrow at 11 a.m. Yeah, no, I've been teasing it on my Twitter. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. So, if you guys aren't aware, uh, we have a special guest tomorrow. Chambers and I are both going on the Kumite. <laughs> I'm not fighting. No, it's... No. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm pissed. I'm legit fucking pissed. So, because I didn't know half of what this stuff was going on, um, so we've been comparing notes, and I've seen the text messages, and... Oh, no. I'm not happy. At all. And the, and like... Wanna... The... Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. Sorry. Um, I just, I have been blocked and scrubbed from a lot of, uh, Twitter groups, so <laughs> that should tell you something. So, Chambers, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, <clears throat> so, we don't want to say too much until the Kumite, and I'm, as you know, we're, I'm very loyal to Tonka because he's one of the few people, he and Geek, that stuck with me and saw everything. Um... How did you, let me ask you this. I know you've seen some things. Uh, mm -hmm. What is, what is your perception now that you've seen some things? I, like I said at the beginning of this, I didn't want any of the fighting. I wanted everybody to work together. Nobody wanted that. Um, um, a bullshit story from the beginning. And I know cause been showing you some stuff. Um, text that I didn't remember so but no base this was orchestra uh, bleh, orchestrated from the beginning um and then because I fell loop which you've seen some stuff and I had a, I had a, a emotional vampire catfish me for five to six months during this do five crap um so I fell out of loop with a lot of stuff which you can see that um so I just I don't understand <laughs> this did not have to go this way and now I just people are trying to guilt trip me he's like you're making it harder for the kids no this has nothing to do with the kids this, this is about me getting fucked with again and a relationship that I was made to freaking cast off not to mention pitted against someone else you when there was, there was none 
None at all. I mean, the story I got fed was total bullshit. Sorry. It'll, it'll pause, and then I'll jump in. I apologize. Um, so let me You're ask fine. you, so... I know you've heard the interview that Rose did about me recently. After what you've seen, are, are the majority of those claims that she's made true from what you've seen? No. Oh, no. From what she told me, too, uh, in my text messages with her, it's total garbage. Like I said, and I've been talking with Joy, and... Uh, um, the image I was painted was Joy was harassing Rose. Completely garbage. Just completely in utter garbage. So, it just, no, it, it's all gonna freaking drop tomorrow. My crap, her crap, everything is gonna get dropped. I'm just, no. No. There's no waiting. Because I wasn't aware of, like, the level of harassment. Because I knew she threw away And I knew that there's some, there was a lot of crazy people, and for the most part, I avoided a lot of them, but no, this, no, no this needs to drop no. To, to me, the way that I look at it is people went out of their way to screw with me and Joy for whatever reason, and the consequences are on them. Sorry, but if it, if people had done this to me, I would have dropped this crap a lot sooner. There would have been and, no and waiting. Think, and, and you know, I think you know the position I've been in is that I, I genuinely don't want to hurt the kids. And I've, I've said this for a while. I've said, Rose may have been a piece of shit to me, but that doesn't mean she's a bad mother. And I, I would, ra and you know, and you know what's going to happen. The, the people, you know, the internet, the people that are controlling the narrative are going to scream if she doesn't get her kids back and I drop the info, it's my fault. And that's, I mean, those no, were the it... biggest reasons why I thought, I want to wait. I want to wait. And, but yet she, I think you've seen it, her father won't stop harassing me. He won't fucking, they won't stop, none of them. And I, well, I think, I've been quiet. But, well, I think Robert Hall was fed BS. I think Tim Collin was fed some BS. That's right. Um, at this point, we were all feed, all fed BS. And like I said, the two other people that were aware of this, um, just going through like my text messages, and like I, we already know Base is one of them. God knows where she is after the Kilroy stuff. I just, no, She's but hiding. Melinda Gale. Her little scam ass is hiding. We'll get into her tomorrow. Fuck her. Freaking, and then Melinda Gale. Because I tried talking, like, I was reading to you our Facebook messages. Um, I told her, well, you know, wait in the Kumite, uh, that there is no damage control. This is not about us hurting the kids. There is, you no. people have royally fucked over someone, their career, no. Like I said, if you had done this shit to me, this stuff would have dropped months ago. I don't put up with this no. crap, and I'm very My pissed off I got it. fucked with. And Chambers knows we've been talking about, like, I, even before we dropped everything, we kind of were starting to make peace, and I told her, I said, funny enough, people like to say I'm mentally ill. It was only recently I got diagnosed with depression and anxiety because of this stuff. You know, like, I'm in the process of, I'm gonna have to change my name. My good name has been ruined. And you can, look, you can say I'm too hyper, fat, I'm ugly, I'm crazy, I make too many videos, I'm loud, you don't like my personality, like, that's fine. That, all that's fine. But to put out a narrative that I'm hurting children, that I'm scamming people out of money, when I was one of the people that stepped up to financially and emotionally help the most, and people kept saying, like, I'm lying about it, well, okay, I guess tomorrow we're gonna find out. <laughs> like, I, you know, and something out. I wanted, something I wanted to hear, because I'm gonna get a little emotional too, um, and like I said, I'm not a crybaby, but I... I've been taken advantage of way too much. I had another lady, uh, Valerie Gunter, I've already released her name because her mom had me put out a missing persons video because she decided to go dark after I called her out. Um, but anyway, she was on me for five to six months, just messing with my head and just... I don't get it. And once again, I do want to apologize to Joy publicly because I've done so in my video, but... I also want to apologize to her followers, her friends, her viewers, um, Sly the Nerd, I sent you a personal Twitter on, DM on Twitter, um, just to apologize to Mike and Actor, I mean, I'm, I'm so fucking furious, cause I had to throw away a relationship, granted me and Joy weren't like all that close, but we were still acquaintances, she helped me, boost me and things like that, and I was, no, no. This is, like, not okay, like, at all. So I do want to apologize to her fans, her followers, because I had a lot of people that were on my channel that just, like, vacated, and I just, no. 
no. And, we and I, we I, got and, played. Thank you. And let, let me say this, because I know some people might kind of have some hard feelings. Um, <clears throat> I want to say, guys, I looked at the messages, and I had a total shift. Because if you guys remember, I, I wrote Chambers really hard. I knew there was a, 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 a coordinated harassment. I knew that. I, I had little bits of evidence, and I thought Chambers was in it and committed. What I saw, and what you, depending on how you look at it, you might see it differently. And Chambers, I don't think I talked to you about this part. I stood up and saw the base messages. You were completely manipulated. Like, I, I was just like, holy shit. Like, you were completely manipulated, not just by her, but several other people. And guys, I also want to say, I saw in the messages, Chambers actually, like, stood up for me several times. Like, she would say to them, uh, do we really need to do this? I don't think that's the case. I don't think Joy's that harmful. Like, she actually tried until they just came at her and really convinced her on top of her having a lot of other issues going on. So, because of that, I'm, I'm you know, I mean, I try to be a forgiving person anyways, but trust me, I, when, tomorrow when it comes out, you're going to see it from a different light. And I, Chambers, I thank you for the apology. It's accepted. And, you know, at this point, I just, it's exactly what you said. We were taken advantage of. And, and let me ask you this. Why ahead. do you think so? Like, in my case, like, especially, like, the interview. What motive would she have had to do a two-hour interview with Melinda and just make all those blatant lies? Like, she's saying, I don't want the recordings out. When you've heard, you've seen the text, and you've heard phone calls. You know what's there. Like, why would she do it? What the fuck is the purpose? I, I think, honestly, to keep pushing a specific narrative, you had a bunch of people, I mean, include himself, because I already talked to, like, because of the image I was fed, I, I jumped your crap, too. Um, pretty hard, but I just, you know, I I can only really say is to keep pushing that narrative. And at this point, I don't even. Do you think it was like just to make money? Because that was the. It was for a while because let me say this: when me and you were talking or whatnot, uh, people were walking away from the GoFundMe. And then when uh, I detached myself, it seemed like donations kind of picked up, but then the fighting continued, and that's when the GoFundMe halted again. So, on and off, and... I, I honestly, like I said, I don't even know how to wrap my brain around. I just know that I am pissed. That I don't even know what to believe anymore. I mean, I've seen the text messages, and as you can see through mine, I kept asking Rose, and I don't want to reveal too much either, asking Rose, is Joy talking to you? Has Joy bothered you lately? And she would tell me no. You can, you will see that tomorrow in my freaking text message. I fucking dumped everything. And by Anything the way, you that I text had. Messages. In, I saw yes. real quick, in my text, because she said I've harassed her, did you, no. within our text, did you see? No, there was there was no harassment. If anything, she kept poking at you. And in the phone calls, was I going crazy and screaming at her even when she had wronged me? No. And something I will say, like, when you asked for clear numbers, she kind of threw a shit fit because she kind of did the same thing to me in my text messages. Every time we would ask her, we saw discrepancies about how she was spending money with the GoFundMe. And we would ask her because, and the reason is, it was every now chambers didn't get it as much but chambers saw with me once or twice a week help me help me joy i'm broke i need money help me help me fundraise fundraise she was trying to get me to either fundraise or give her money repeatedly this was once or twice a week for months and so i was finally like well, what's going on with the financial situation and i tried to dig and i tried to help her um because then people got distrustful of the gofundme and because they saw discrepancies they saw things going on Rose, to me in private, would blame Chambers for all the issues. All the issues. So I told her, I said, okay, well, if that's the case, you need to put the GoFundMe in. Because it was, so basically it was like you were managing it, but she gets everything. Like, it all goes to her, which I understood, and I defended mm -hmm. that. Even though they'll say different, that I said Chambers is stealing money. I never fucking said. I've always defended you on that. I'm like, look, we have our issues. I don't think you're stealing money from anybody. Um, but I tried to help her with figuring out what was happening. There are thousands of dollars missing. And then, when we dug further, you'll see where the money's going. Or at least some of the places, and you'll see what's going on. And people need to know. They need to know. And, and before anybody says anything, there's no YouTube comeback. Now, after the stream, if not, probably, I'd say tomorrow's Thursday, so probably Friday, 
I will be doing my own streams on my channel and I will be revealing things. And if any bigger YouTubers, and you guys can forward this to people, if any bigger YouTubers wanna talk, even smaller YouTubers, I am happy to go on your shows. This is not about a comeback or in the spotlight. After what I've been through online, and I know you, we talked about it, Chambers, like, I don't mm -hmm. wanna come back. And, and once you guys kinda understand, this is not something I ever wanna come back into. I, I, there's no fucking way. I just wanna clear my name. So you guys are more than welcome for this and, and anything I put up, mirror it. Get the word out, unless you're a hater. And if you're a hater and you're a harasser, I will flag you, just so you know. If you try to spin this in any way that paints in a negative, untruthful light. Just want to throw that out there. But I just want to get the word out there and clear my name. That's all I want. And I want to make sure those kids are safe. And I'm going to leave it there for the moment. <laughs> so. Yeah. I um, I j like I said, this is just complete something I will see because I have apologized to her about this too because a lot of people jumped on this shark in regards to her family on lol cow everybody was very quick to take their sides nobody knows jack crap about them we don't we weren't in their house so I already apologized to joy for taking their side automatically nobody knows anything we don't know if they're full of garbage we just no um, they were given credence way too quickly because there are families to, who will have that one child that they say black sheep. Come from a house, abusive home. Um, I've seen others it happened to, personal family members. So, so it's just like, no, they were getting way too much credit, way too much credence. So that I do apologize for people. Cause like I said, how this happened, like with like me, Joy getting together talking, I will say because there are a few people that I give credit to for that. Um, Vamp Candy, I, uh, me and her have had uh, private conversations on Discord. Um, Geek Thulu, um, me and Geek Thulu are cool now ever since our Kumite, and um, I will get to talk to him every now and then privately, and then hang out in his Discord. And then I believe also Tonka saw that I've uh, spoken to about this. So because I've been taking the time to mend bridges which I do encourage if you are able to do, do so. Uh, men bridges with people like Geek Thulu. Never had an issue with Vamp or Tonka saw, but you guys get what I'm saying. And I started to hear some things, like Vamp started to tell me stuff, so she goes, yeah, I've seen some of this stuff, and I'm going, you're... Cr so, and I know Vamp doesn't BS either. So, and then with Geek Thulu, he's, uh, some of the situations that he confronted in the past, he was able to back them up, and so it's just like, okay, you're saying this, this person's saying this, Tonka saw saying this, um, Sinatra's been calling Rose a scammer for a while, so is Geek and some some other people. So I'm like, oh, and okay, so I, I entered a uh, server and they were arguing with Moral Virus. I had no idea it was moral, uh, moral, I just heard a bunch of yelling. It's just like, what is this tism storm? So afterwards... And that, I want to, real quick, what, what you saw about this guy, Moral Virus, <laughs> that is about 40 or 50 people like that that have been surrounding me nonstop. They're all that fucking prick. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no. But anyway, so me and Joy started to have a conversation, very civil one, because prior to that, anytime we were in the same room, it was a war zone. So we started to have a conversation. Yeah. We talked about me doing the video, which I was not bullied into doing it. I, I legit wanted to clear the air, and I kept it short and precise as I could. <laughs> I know I'm a bit rambly, but I did a video pretty much was straightforward. Um, and she saw it, she was, you know, I appreciate it, because now, after, and then she started to show me some stuff, um, which I just, I, part of my brain wants to say, well, this isn't real, but it, it, it is. And I, um, no, just no. Like I said, had this been me, I would have dropped this crap months ago. All of it. And then you, you and, and, you know, I just, I got to the point, every time I defended myself, like, I was in a box where I couldn't, and that was what Geek said. Geek was like, why all of a sudden are there different rules on the internet for you? And it wasn't just, like, the viewers. It was the other, even other YouTubers. Like, I called Andy Worski out for pushing these kind of narratives. Um, I've t Andy has talked to me about going on a stream, but he has not gotten back to me yet. Yeah. Um, by the way, this Repsion, this ties into Repsion, too. Oh, and I want to ask you, Kayla, real quick, because Repsion has said he's going to make an apology video to me if I prove those three things. One was, like, that I heard the case on my working with Tim Conlon and Rose and my medical records. Uh, Chambers, have you seen my medical records? Yes, I, I actually have. Um, real quick before we get to that, um, somebody keeps asking me in the chat, have I tried to make contact with BASE? Um, 
by phone. The last time I reached out to her was January 4th in regards to the Kilroy stuff, trying to ask what was going on. But no, I haven't reached out to Rose. I haven't reached out to Robert Hall. I haven't even reached out to the sister. I'm not saying anything to anybody. So it's just like, no, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to just, no, it's, mm -mm. We don't need no. to. We have the info. No. That's the thing is like, there's no need for to do the based mama thing of screaming and calling me a cunt because we have the evidence. We have it. Yeah. Uh, back to your medical records. But yes, I have, I have seen them. Um, like I said, when it came to all the fighting and stuff, I didn't touch the medical stuff because I don't know anything about it. I don't have any medical which issues I myself. That. And you did. And I, you, I know you did talk about mental illness stuff, which wasn't true at the time. It is, it's situational now from all of this, but, and, I, and I appreciate that you didn't. Um, but I'm curious, when you yeah. saw it, what, what did you see on my medical records? Just, just so people can, can hear it. Um, there was the organic mercury, now there's anxiety and depression, um, there was something about copper, sorry, I, I didn't take, obviously, like I said, that's okay. didn't take any screenshots, that's okay. um, no, that's fine. there was fibromyalgia, there was, an, there was another freaking funny ass word, <laughs> Poly, the polymyalgia, was that it? Yes, there was and that, that one, as I, one as, as I told people, that one, they haven't, my doctor hasn't removed that yet, but that's that's not um, that's, yeah. that's not an issue. It, uh, yeah, and, I, I just, uh, just yeah, just go ahead. I was gonna ask, did you see aluminum on there? Yeah, I know that was the other one. There was two types uh, of. Uh, uh, did you see IBS? Uh, yeah, I saw that, and then also saw the uh, uh, the antibiotics which you were allergic to, which penicillin is one of the main antibiotics that they give. So saw that you were allergic to that as well. Um, and that you were on like three different medications as of now. Right, right. So and, and I do, I do want to say, uh, so guys, also, um, Geek Thulu and Tonka have both seen my medical records. So if you would like to, please don't harass, but let Repsion know he owes me an apology video or he's an asshole <laughs> because he tried to paint me as a liar about me being sick to a quarter of a million people and they bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. Fucking Wait, okay, it. no. Wait, no, I want to address this. Plummer, was it Plummer, Aya, Peach? She's talking about her past medical records, which were all written by herself. What? <laughs> what? No. no. Okay, let me... She went... Okay. Oh, my God. No. Because she went Discord voice chat. You can share screens now. She literally signed into a medical portal right in front of me and showed me everything. No, you guys are fucking crazy. No, I, I wrote, I wrote, I made the website. I wrote the programming for the fucking site, Chambers. This, Chambers, this is how it works. Obviously. Like, I just made it all up. <laughs> I think. And by the way, the people, and I've had patrons who've seen it. And uh, Geek Thulu used to do medical coding. So he knows what diagnoses look like and the medical codes and the billing codes. And I like people say, well, just because it's a billing code. Uh, and, and they say different things about it. No, when there's the, when there are certain codes next to it, thank you, Hale, it's what they bill for to be treated for as a diagnosis. <laughs> so, so yeah, I just want to, I just want to throw that out there. So for everybody who has screamed that everything is safe, um, I am going to, um, and I have to do it very carefully because the last time I tried to release certain things, um, people were able to find out information about me, but, uh, if there's a way to do it tomorrow, a safe way, I might, what I might do is I might just show them again and have them take screenshots and put out just what, what's needed. Like, why, because here's the thing, why, like, why would Tonka lie? Why would Geek or Tonka lie about this? You know, why would they lie? But people are yeah. gonna, people will say they did. They absolutely will. Like I said, a lot of the uh, anti-joy people, even during the fighting, I, avoided a lot of them because it's just like you guys are crazy because when i started to hear people start to mess with uh uh your roommate and, and what, what the crap what are you guys doing and then uh even like when you when phil started fighting with you like posting uh something very intimate i'm going uh that dude that's a dirty why are you even airing that about so oh, yeah. it's just, yeah. there there are boundaries that were crossed that even i go because like I've, I've had my internet fights with people and i've uh -huh. no just no there was too many boundaries crossed even for an internet fight it, it's gotten it's gotten way past the point of internet drama 
to like, okay, we're gonna go royally fuck with this person. No. Legit harassment. And and I want to say this too before we get off here. Um, it, you know, tomorrow to the people who are fans of me, because I know there are also people who hate me that watch me. That's fine. But to the people who are our fans or viewers, I encourage you, please, 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 don't harass. Don't. Oh, please fight, don't. Don't even respond to these people. And I'm not. Here's the thing. I can't tell you what to do. And I'm not saying don't have a peaceful conversation, obviously. But you have to understand that many of these people that, that come after me um, are either brainwashed by a narrative they don't understand or they are crazy fucking people themselves. Please be very careful. And Chambers knows what I'm talking about. She's seen some of it recently. Please, please, please be like for your fucking safety. Be very careful. You're dealing with some people who I don't want to speculate but people who say that they don't take their medication for mental illness because they don't like how it feels, so let's go destroy my life. Please um, be careful. And yeah, people are asking what time the Kumite. So the Kumite is 11 a.m. Central. That makes it 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Uh, 9 a.m. Pacific. Pacific Time. And then I want to say... Because I think... Easter, right? Yes. I yeah, Eastern is one hour ahead of Central. Awesome. So also real quick, I want to do a shout out. Hi Blarg. Blarg has permission to upload anything. Obviously, Blarg, if you need any copies of this for any reason, let me know. It's yours. <laughs> I'll probably put a copy of this tonight on Sprinkle Bow. But be prepared. And it sucks because I had you know sixty plus thousand subscribers, so I don't have the same fan base. But um, I don't care. I'm gonna get this out to as many people as we can. So over the next couple weeks. Be watching Spurpinkle, though. That's my secondary... Well, I guess it's my only channel now. Spurpinkle, S-P-U-R, Spur... And then P-I-N-K-L-E, B-O-W. So look that up. Subscribe. You'll know it's me. It's got, like, four, I think 14,000 subscribers. Please subscribe. Um, this is, Again, this is not a comeback. I'm not going to be doing regular videos. I'm focused on getting better, but I'm also going to clear my name. So just want to put that out there. And, and I want to say, Chambers, thank you so much for coming on, and thank you for doing this with me. I know... A lot of people wouldn't have the integrity, such as, we'll show it tomorrow. Uh, Chambers reached out to Nick Monroe to, because she was like, well, he's going to want to know this. He's going to set the record straight. That motherfucker said, not interested. Not interested. We even invited him into our call as I was showing evidence. Yeah, Why I, I who claims to be a journalist not be interested in the truth of a story that he helped yeah, I, create? I, tr I tried to get him into our... Uh... Google Hangouts or Discord call, can't remember which one we were in, but he goes, well, anything you can tell me um, in a call, you can text me. I'm like, no, dude, you need to come into a call, like, right now, because there's a lot of stuff, and he just goes, not interested, and I'm like, seriously? He never responded to me, so it's just like, no, this this is, like, messed up. And like I said, Melinda Gale, because she tried to ask me, well, what has she shown you? You know what? And I told her, wait until the Kumite, and I got, I got blocked. Uh, Poppy blocked me. Uh, Rose Hall removed me off of her Facebook um, so it's just like no and I'm not going to argue with any of them they they can freaking wait because you know what no I'm done. Ice Chambers is gone I'm dead serious I'm done and that's how I felt too I was so angry um, that it's it's taken I'm going to be probably up all night preparing stuff because I want this to go well but I just want the truth out there and I, and I also want to say um, there are a few people I want to call out before we go um, Repsion come on the Kumite you owe me a massive apology video. You owe me a huge one. Because now, I will have proven all three things. And by the way, I want to point out, Repsion never asked for my medical records, and then had me blocked so I couldn't get him to him. He never wanted my medical records. He just wanted some views because he's an attention whore. So Repsion, come defend your video on the Kumite and the three points I've disproven. And make that apology video. Or also you're just something a big fucking attention whore pussy. Something too, because we did talk about this in the group Twitter DMs and a little bit on Twitter. Melinda, Kumite tomorrow. To Melinda Gale, you already challenged me on the Kumite, bitch. Challenge Twice. accepted. Fucking cunt. Come on the Kumite and face what you are trying to protect that you know is wrong. You attention whoring bitch. Melinda Gale, sixty nine. Oh, and guess what? As soon as they knew we were going on the Kumite, they all privated their accounts. The woman who put out my fucking phone number. And also, Here, don't forget your, don't forget trying to dox your grandmother, because I grabbed a screenshot of that too when you told yes, me about it. Yes, <laughs> Put out childhood pictures of me, 
And she's a mother. Like the fuck is wrong with you? Go take care of your kids. No, she saw her. She saw Doxy and uh, uh, the roommate's family members, and I still have a screenshot of the grandmother. Because when I went, I, I, I followed Melinda before I got blocked, and that never came across my feed. And I went and found and went, what the fuck? Oh, I have more. Trust me. Like, I'll have folders on this. Um, who else do you want to call out? Uh, oh, God. Now I'm brain farting. Okay. Uh, oh. I don't think you're going to get base. Base is, like, gone. Oh, base is a pussy. Nick Monroe, you little fucking computer puss. Well, you're this, this, you're the, the, you're this fucking little beta male that's, that's behind your computer trying to plot to do things. You're like, you're, you're absolutely everything that nerd culture is disgusting about. And I love nerd culture. I love a lot of nerd culture things. Come on the Kumite and defend the harassment you were a part of. That instead of wanting to correct the record, you went, nah, not interested. It's Twitter's Nick Mod, 1112. Watch this little pussy say nothing. And the biggest one, based mama, for the systematic harassment that you helped organize and orchestrate against me because you were mad that you didn't get all the attention you want and I have the fucking proof. Come face me, you fucking cunt. And why is it a lot of these people who do this, like Melinda Gale, based mama, you're these middle-aged women who have kids that run around creating drama online. I don't like... Don't you not have enough to do having children? I just can't imagine having children and acting like this. I can't. There's, like I said, there was no need for this crap. None. We had a big channel, which was yours, who um, was also helping out. Um, we had a manager of the money, which is me. And then we had uh, a few others. So uh, there, there was no need for this crap. None. We all had our eggs in a basket. I just, I don't fucking understand this. It, it, there's, it, it's, you're not, not, not one of us are going to. Because we're not perfect people, we make mistakes, but we're not assholes. Like, we're not like them. These are asshole people, and I'm gonna prove a lot of these people, they knew. They know what's going on, and they are protecting some really dirty shit that should not be protected. And not just with me, but with some other things. And not and just let me with say me. Yeah, and let me say this too, um, because I don't know, because at this point, I know how Melinda is. I know how, I don't know if Base is creeping around. I know how they are. They go digging into people that they're going to try to discredit. So I dare you to share what was in those group chats, because I know what's in those group chats. We dug oh, yeah. in a joy. We started to date when, uh, when freaking roommate got docs. We started to look into him too. Um, there is, we did help Rose out with some transportation stuff. We talked about GoFundMe updates, but no, there's a lot of shit talking joy. There's a lot of, uh, material gathered for those two articles. Um, so yeah, no, I, I dare you to show what's in those group chats. I already know, and I've already talked to joy about it because there was a lot of shit talking, but I dare you to show what's in those group chats that you so kicked me out of and tried to fucking scrub. Like I said, and, good luck with that. I already got some pieces out of there. And let me tell you guys what happened with that. So even though, you know, we were showing Chamber stuff, she still had the mindset that, well, obviously this must be a misunderstanding and that they need to know. And I tried telling her, I'm like, look, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I think that they're aware. Be careful. So as Chambers was gathering info, she was contacting them to let them know. And as she's gathering screenshots from the group chats of all of the fucking harassment that happened, one by one, she's like, they're not working, they're bugging out. And then she was kicked out of all of them and they all unfollowed her and either blocked her or protected their accounts. All of them. Why would you do that? How the fuck would you do that? If you're, if you're not guilty. <laughs> what a mess. What a fucking mess, Chambers. The interview, um, the Rose, oh no, we have, we have a mirror of that crap. Never mind, because someone goes, well, I can't find it. Yeah, we already found it. Oh, we have it. Yeah, all the stuff that they tried to scrub off the internet, we have. No, oh, you guys are, you're going to see everything, everything. And I also want to well, point out the people who've slandered Tim Conlon, because I know you've had your issues with him and stuff. Tim mm -hmm. was fucking lied to, too. I feel like Oh, I don't, I don't doubt it at this point. I don't doubt it, because him trying to say that I was a DO5 bull, that had to be some BS that Rose fed him, because it's like, why Why are you tinfoiling out on me all of a sudden? So. And, and then Rose turns around the interview and says, it was me. I was the one who was the mole. <laughs> that just, I, I've never seen something. And it's crazy because as dumb as she acts and as not very smart as she is, Rose and Base have been so cold and calculated and manipulative with everybody. 
So this whole, oh shucks, I'm so dumb act, even though there's some dumb, she also knew what the fuck she was doing. It's incredible. And we're putting it out there. I'm just mad that over 20 plus thousand dollars was raised for her to squander, waste, lie about, when that could have gone to like the, their college funds. You know, like that could have gone to something substantial for their future. Because unfortunately, from my opinion, these two kids have white trash, shitty parents. Both of them. Both of them. Awful. Just awful. <laughs> we'll get into that tomorrow. <laughs> Let me point out too here because we're this is not an attack on the kids. I actually feel bad for them. Um, Cody and Emma do look happier and healthier, but the way this went about it is total garbage. Because I've been following another custody battle case. Um, they locked on everything, but as far as it seems, they handle stuff very, very differently. And like I said, there was no need. And I just, this is an attack on the kids. This is clearing somebody's name. Because I had people asking me on Twitter, hey, well, you guys are still dragging this out. And it's just like, no, if you had a chance to clear your name and had your life really fucked over, yeah, I, I'd want justice for my name too. This has nothing to do with the kids at this point. I feel bad for them. I really do. This is not to make things harder. But at this point, like I said, the consequences that are going to come about this are on the fault of the people responsible. I don't care. That's right. That's right. And, and I'm going to encourage everybody again, and you guys know me, I'm not one of those like, subscribe, comment, share people. I don't do that stuff. Share this where you can. Share this with bigger YouTubers, whoever I can get the word out to. Because this isn't, oh. you know, it's not right. Let me address a question um, by Shan TJ, TJD. Why? Oh, come on, stop that. Why is this being brought back up again? Just curious if something new happened. Um, yes or no. Um, Joy's been getting a lot of harassment. It's been really bad. And because I've been wanting to clear the air with Joy for quite some time. And like I said, I've been talking with people like Vamp Candy, Geek Thulu, um, here and there talk as well when he's not busy. Um, and I've been hearing some things. So... I was able to get into a civil conversation with Joy, and then I put out my video, and then she started to show me some stuff. It's like, oh yeah, no, this stuff needs to come out. The hell with this. Thank you, I, I agree. And, and Skylar, oh, glad to see you back, Joy. Thank you, thank you. And Chambers, I know I gotta get going. I've got a lot of work to do, <laughs> as you know, and I'm gonna try to get some dinner. Um, anything you want to say? Anything you want to go over before we uh, go on tomorrow? Um, no, pretty much. You guys are gonna get the uh full sphere and there's like I said there's still some stuff that I don't have access to anymore um, because I got scrubbed from the group Twitter DMs um, but yeah no this was mess I just I'm done helping people that they may sound mean I have very few people of my followers that I talk to on a daily basis um, those people are not included in this um, but I, I'm done helping people. You come, you try to come to me and you're doing Bia, I'm gonna freaking blast you. Valerie's freaking lucky I didn't freaking blast her ass everywhere. I was so freaking pissed off about that crap too. But I held off because I'm like, oh, I don't want people finding her family members. But Rose's family is already involved in this, so, and already out there. And I, like I said, I feel bad. I don't hate them, but this was garbage. This was really fucking garbage. And, and I wanna say too, I don't hate anybody. But they won't stop. The harassers won't stop. And Rose and her family haven't stopped. So it's time for me to stand up for myself. And some people might say, well, why'd you wait that long? Aside from the kids, the narrative was so fucking spun that either the people who I still was friends with on YouTube, I told them not to touch it because I was scared that it's like they kept getting gone after. And the other people just didn't even fucking believe. Look at Tommy C. Desperately wants an interview with me. Now I actually have the truth of the situation, but because it doesn't fit his narrative of how Rose is this poor fucking mother and how I'm this horrible, abusive person to her, he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't care. He doesn't care to set the record straight because he's an attention whore. And what I want to yeah. point out, this is what I like about Tonka, and a lot of these YouTubers you see, a lot of them are just attention whores. They will ruin somebody's life just to have people look at them. Doesn't make any sense for a couple bucks. Something yeah, else. someone, I wanted to read something. Freaking, where'd it go? Um, where'd she go? Uh, Carly Cerna says, Chambers looks, eh, freaking, uh, pretty much call, uh, saying that I look tired and pissed, uh, or tired or upset. Yeah, no, I'm doing okay. I'm just, but no, I am very much upset because, like I said, during the DO5 stuff, while I was being fed a BS story, I was, I was also freaking catfished by another woman. So, at the same time. Hey, team, you had your own stuff going on. You know, that mm -hmm. was making it, where it made it, like, very, you weren't real in, involved for a while. And, you know, you've seen the text 
there were times, like, there were weeks I wasn't involved. You know, it's not like she wants to paint this picture that I was up her ass harassing her when she's the one going, help me, Joy, call me, call me, call me, call me, call me, call me, call me. And there were times you were out. Yeah, there were times where you were outright ignoring her and she freaking went on a spasm with text. Like, three o'clock in the morning or so. Yes, there were times where if I didn't drop everything to do what she wanted right then, it would be, did you stop caring? Are you going to be like everybody else? Nobody wants to Uh help me. All of you just want views. Over small stuff. Over small fucking stuff. You'll see it. You're going to see it all. It's all going to be put out there, and I'm going to continue to talk about it. Oh, that's another one. You guys can ask Tommy C. why he doesn't want me on the show when I have evidence of what I'm saying. Ask him. Ask him why he'd rather run with a bullshit narrative, because he's a bullshit human being. I just want to put that out there. (laughs) So, anything else, Chambers? Any last words? No, I just, um, be there tomorrow, um, it might be a little after 11 a.m., but it, it, there is going to be a kumite tomorrow. Um, like I said, around 11 a.m. Central, um, 12 p.m. Eastern, um, 10 a.m. Mountain, and then 9 a.m. Pacific on (laughs) Tonka Sauce Channel. Real quick, people are saying Tommy C doesn't want you on because you are no longer a YouTuber and it's all news and irrelevant now. Right? Why would you wanna why would you wanna fucking fix a story or help children that could still be in danger? Why? Um somebody else said Tommy C said before that you just like to stir the pot for attention. If that were the case, why didn't I interview with him before? Yeah, and he is a washed up fucking Keemstar reject. Exactly. What I'm doing and he's a pussy. He's not gonna have me on. He doesn't want to look wrong, but I'm calling people out. So remember I'm calling out Repsion on the Kumite. Repsion, come face me on the Kumite. Based, come face me on the Kumite. Robert fucking Hall, come face me on the room out on the Kumite. Um, more, who else? More, be Daniel. quiet. Oh, he's fucking stupid. He's, <laughs> he's tweeting, says, so he's tweeting at me. Oh, of course he, and, and girl, be prepared. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Oh, he's fucking unhinged. We'll talk about him. <laughs> he's the one that's admitted to legally harassing me. Um, the Hills Oh, I, I dare him to argue with Tonka again. That shit was funny. That was, t- that oh, was, was pure funny. autism. <laughs> and the Hales case was autism. Says, he was so mad. He says, the Hales case says, so sorry this happened to you both. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, otherwise, guys, um, in less chambers, you got anything else to say? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get nope. dinner. I'm gonna get ready for the patron stream and get a lot of work done before tomorrow. Um, anything else you wanna go over? Nope. Once again, I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all. I watched someone that you about so much get like freaking trashed on. Thank you. Thank you, I, I do appreciate it. Also, somebody I want to point out before we go, Minister Orange is somebody that sat one day and listened to some of what was going on, has been really supportive. He's been spamming the chat with good information. Go subscribe to him. Smaller YouTube, but good content, good person, been really good. He's also, Minister also Orange. called, um, he's also known as Ichabod. So if you see a raccoon Ich-Bod. called Ichabod, that's also him. Yeah, Ichabod. <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, I think that's it. So take care, everybody. Blessings. I will see you guys tomorrow. And like I said, go to Spur Pinkle Bow. Um, I'm going to write it in the chat right now. Uh, Spinkle Bow. Go there. Um, subscribe. And uh, just be prepared. And watch. I rate Bear tomorrow. We're going on, I think it's 4 p.m. Central. And the Kumite is 11 p.m. Central. So make sure Tonka saw on the Kumite and I rate Bear. So otherwise, guys, we'll see you soon. Thank you for... Mr. Orange. Mr. Orange is also Ichabod. There you go. Mr. Orange, that's right. God damn it. He's got so many things. <laughs> okay, guys. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, loves. Bye, guys. And... Oh, shit. I did it wrong.